Hey guys, as promised, here's video number one of the new comeback series, which will be a video each week for this playlist. Feel free to check out the playlist in any order you want, as I mentioned in the intro video, but this is video number one, I guess, if you want to go in order. So this first video is going to be a quick unboxing video to start things off. Most of these videos in this series, as I mentioned, will be unboxing videos, but hey, we'll have some fun. So for this unboxing video, we're going to be unboxing three very special ladies from Prisma Ilya, uh, Miu, Kuro, and Ilya. All their Beast version figurines, which were made by the company Broccoli. Now, these figures are extremely rare, at least on the aftermarket, especially the Ilya that apparently goes for about $400 used and or new in the aftermarket. Not quite as expensive as some one-fourth bunnies from Freeing, very popular for making the one-fourth scale bunny figurines or bunny girls, but still up there. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Broccoli as a company, I like to kind of rate this as sort of the company that does more popularized anime characters and also visual novels. They're huge proprietors of Yuzusoft games, and they love making figurines of them, especially the Amaya Ionauts ones. I own the Shirley Warwick as well as, well, I want to own the Guyard. I can't remember her first name now. The one fox girl from Amaya Ionauts. Uh, I also have another one from Yuzusoft, and yeah, for the most part, they really like Yuzusoft figurines. But with that being said, these girls are from Broccoli. They're very small for 1 8 and they're very expensive for 1 8 However, it's hit or miss with this market. Some of the Yuzusoft characters that I own and they're all from Broccoli have dropped down to about 50 bucks in the aftermarket. Some of the figurines have, like Ilya, increased over 200 to $300. I ended up buying these three girls on a Yahoo auction bid. I ended up paying about $450 with shipping for all three, which is pretty good considering that that's less than $200 per figure. And, well, 20,000 yen per figure if we go by even exchange. So that's actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. Anyways, we're going to just start right in with unboxing them. I'm going to start with Ilya, move our way up, um, do Mew, and then end with my favorite girl, Kuro. I ordered the Kuro a while ago, the Beast version one, but never got a chance to get her because I had to cancel my Ami Ami order. Sometimes I do do that. And... I eventually just saw it on my wish list and decided, hey, let's knock these three girls out. I don't plan to ever really sell these figurines unless I'm actually selling my entire collection someday in the future, but they're good figures. So let's get started. Let's unbox. We'll start with Ilya, of course. Here is the box art and the Beast version. Now, this is from the original Prisma Ilya. The other two are from Season 2. Um, so this came out in 2013, I believe. Yeah, this is before I even... Whew, no, I thought this was around the time. Yeah, I was going to Japan. I think I was seeing this figurine be released. It might have been a lot earlier than that. Uh, here's the official Katakawa sticker to know it's not one of the bootlegs. Uh, box has a little bit of damage on it from the shipping, at least the tape. But you know what? I don't really care. The box looks fine condition to me. So let's unbox her and take a look. By the way, if you have any questions about companies, um, some of my future videos will go over different companies of figurines, as well as kind of showcase. I have a, well, I don't want to spoil it, a new series I have planned uh, to kind of get things kicked off, but this is sort of my comeback week still, so hopefully this will be fun and interesting. Anyways, uh, here we have the cilia. I have a knife uh, just to kind of open some of the side plastic or side tape. And she's got a couple components to her. This one's already open. Yes, it is. Okay, so we have the base here. As you can see the year, it says 2013. Now there is a little scuff mark on that base. You can see it as I focus in there right there. So a little bit of scuff mark, not a huge deal though. Um, yeah, and that is just most of these bases are actually paw pads. So the figurine is extremely, not the greatest PVC, very small in terms of a 1 8th. Not really as detailed in the hair. Looks like she has some white spots in the hair right there, which is not a huge deal. Um, other than that, she has all her ribbons and bows that are attached to her, so nothing wrong with that. And overall, um, everything else seems fine. A little tail piece in the back, which she comes with her tail piece and the ribbon. As well as her little whatever it is for those of you that watch the show, because I've never actually watched the show. <laughs> Anywho, let's just uh, plug her in here, or put her in. 
the base. And I almost missed a piece. It does come in a little plastic piece to hold up what is needed. So I'm going to reference the box here to find out how this goes in. So I appreciate your guys' patience. I'm just going to quick assemble the, the tail, which goes in like so. Um, I believe it's, yeah, just like that. Okay. I'm sorry guys, just trying to figure out the tail here. The piece is not as developed, I have to get into more of the light, sorry about that. Okay, tail's in, just like so. Perfect. Now we need to get in the... There we go, that's secure now. Uh, and then we'll just put it in a base, get it over with. This little piece on the back for that. Easily fits in, just like so. What we'll do is we'll come down here. I'm gonna assume this just slides in like so. Or should. Oh, there's a little thicker component right there. Let me just look at the box here very quickly. And it actually shows how it connects. Excellent. Okay, so it's supposed to go out like that. So this is going to go like so. I don't think there's anything unique about this except just sliding into place, but it needs to, ah, I think it goes in like that. Yes, because then that's a little too far out. Sorry guys, just trying to figure this one out. A little bit on the confusing side. Ah, okay. Let's just go. So it's in the base, but now the question is, which way does it go in the base? Haha, -ha, that's the trick. Oh, it's gonna be annoying. I don't have instructions with this one. So you guys can enjoy me struggle when I really jam that in there. All right, Ilya, you have to come out just for a moment. There we go. And I need to maneuver this out. There we go. Okay. Ah, okay. I got it now. Sorry for off-camera work. Okay, I got it. It goes like that. There we go. Now it makes sense. Okay. Like so. And then, this has to be right on the edge. It's actually very difficult to do, by the way. This piece is not really designed to be, you know, amazing. So, <laughs> All right, sorry about that. It's a little bit annoying, guys. I don't know how it's supposed to stay in. It's actually very difficult. I think it's supposed to go in like this and then slide in. Or something in that nature. Well, let's put Ilya back on the base. Yeah, so it comes out like that. 
That is correct. It's supposed to, yeah, so it's supposed to pretend like it's floating in front of her. I kind of understand where they're going with this one. Okay, I see what they're trying to do. Okay, so now just to figure out how. Okay. One last try here, guys. <laughs> I promise this is not... Oh, boy. I hate figurines like this. It's kind of garbage you have to go through all the time. So, you know, it, it goes in, but it doesn't stay. There we go. Oh, uh, well, you know. <laughs> well, there she is. She's supposed to float. Um, we'll showcase these in a little bit, but... That's what it's supposed to look like, I guess. Um, unless I can turn this just a little bit more. I think this will do just fine. It gets the job done. So, Ilya is finished. What a weird figure. Sorry about that, guys. Now, this one also came with a little bonus item. Comes with Ilya's wand. Her little thing, right? But this is one that you can like extend and be like pew pew magic. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's like a bonus pre order item. It's got a little fluffy cotton tail that you can like fluff people with. And then it also has like a little, you can be like, yo, it's Prismalia time. I don't I've never seen the show. I have no idea what it does. Anyways, cool. Little thing that comes with it. All right, next girl. Let's get me one out of the way. Just that a little bit. There we go. Mew. Um, season two. Actual character art. There's one of these. It's at the bottom. This one will be a lot easier. Box already open. Hopefully this one will be a lot quicker. Guys. Ooh, this one goes wrapping. Ho, 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 ho. Knives on the side there. That was all figurines do. Okay. Ooh, this, this base is not hollow at the bottom. I mean, it's solid. And she has 2015 on this one. Okay, base is a little bit different. Oh, well, look at that. It's actually embedded into her character. God, they made this so much easier. PVC quality is pretty much still the same. The tail's already built in, though. You don't need to assemble it. And, yeah. She's already just ready to go. That's pretty basic. Just plug her in and put her on, and she's good. Sorry about that. Let me just get in her base here. There she is. Easy. We'll showcase her in a bit. What I will probably end up doing is doing another unboxing video and showcasing them all at the end. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Girl. Girl's up. God, Girl's the best character in the entire series. I love this character. I like dark-skinned anime girls and characters. I don't know why. I think they're cool design. Um, I don't really like the pale color skin characters. Just a preference, I guess, so to each his own. This one also has a solid base. I think this was the last one to come out, actually. 
Ooh, she has a she was tape. She was 2015 as well. Once again, they made a solid base. They learned from their past mistake and their crap quality on Ilya. Everything is already pre-built in. Although her skirt kind of like can come up and down, I guess. I don't know if you can remove it. Probably not. I don't want to mess with it, so forget it. But uh, yeah, here's the Kuro Beast. And we put that into the base just like so. And there she is. That one also. So all three girls completed. Ilya was a pain in the butt. Also, I forgot to mention, I also got a little uh, Mew thing as well. So I can be like, do a wants to, you know, whatever, I guess. I'm a real magical girl. I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. Whatever. Um, so let's bring these in. Now, as you tell, the quality went to a much different curl. Mew. And I could just lay these down. It's okay. And then Ilya, I know Ilya's little thing is probably going to fall off because, you know, just my luck. Well, I'll just hold her like that. Whoa. <laughs> and there it goes. All right, cool. There she is. There they are, all three girls. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, quick unboxing. Well, it was quick until I had a mess with Ilya because you can obviously tell they were like, mm, that nobody wants to waste their time doing that. So I made these figures a lot. And there that goes. <laughs> a lot cheaper. Um, well, easier to assemble. So anyways, that's video one. Catch you guys in the next one. Probably another unboxing. Who knows? We still got the comic goods, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it'll be all fun. Thanks, guys. Catch you later. Bye.